This morning, TechCrunch introduced us to a new tool for designers called Front, or Front. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, um, it's a tool that allows designers uh, to build um, responsive web pages without having to know any code. Um, here, let me show you the, um, uh, the, the promotional video from Front, or Front. Uh, uh, as you can see, it designed responsive websites directly in the browser. So rather than designing in um, a page layout program or designing in Photoshop, uh, designers can actually work right in the browser. So one would assume that um, with this, um, you can't be doing things that can't be done on the web, since this is actually being done on the web here live and in real time. Um, so you could add logos, you can resize those logos, you can change colors, you can change column layouts, you can change... Uh, of the text, um, uh, but the real magic comes when this tool allows designers to actually build for various um, layouts, design various layouts. So here you can close down from a computer screen to a tablet size screen. You can look at that and go, hey, you know, that type needs to be in two columns. That logo needs to maybe be a little bit bigger. You know, on the phone application, that subhead certainly needs to be smaller. Uh, the text needs to be in one column and maybe a little bit wider. And then the designer can slide uh, the indicator at the top and kind of see, you know, their work, see how it shows up. And then one would presume that then when the designer hands their design off to the coder or the developer, that that developer will be able to actually build the thing that the designer designed. That's a big step, but I'm not sure it's enough. Um, I'm not sure that what uh, Front promises it can do is adequate for what designers are actually being asked to do and what they are frankly obliged to do now for their clients. If we take a look at Post Marketing's website, you can see this is designed to be responsive as well. If we close it down to tablet size, it sets itself up a little bit differently. If we go all the way down to phone size, um, it sets itself up in a third way with all the blog posts, etc., down um, in, a scrolling, in, in a scrolling view with the navigation now in a menu. You can see when you open that back up, the navigation's here kind of all um, spelled out. Looks really nice. Um, it was not built using a tool like Front. It was built using um, WordPress. Um, it was built using WordPress combined with um, a pre-designed responsive theme. Um, for those of you who aren't aware of the wild and wacky world of, of themes right now, um, themes are being developed you know, daily. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of quality, well-designed themes from companies like Woo Themes or Theme Forest or Elegant Themes, which is actually the company that made the um, template that you're looking at here. Um, and with those themes, a designer has a really great starting point. But it's not really enough. Usually those designs um, need to be customized in you know, several ways. So quite you know, frankly, designers do need to work a little bit with the back end stuff. They do need to understand some coding in order to make a site that actually looks good and does everything that it's supposed to do. Now, Front kind of suggests that that can be avoided, but I would suggest that it can't be avoided um, and shouldn't be avoided because um, what Front is doing is it's kind of you know lulling designers into thinking that they're still designing brochures that are viewed. Um, on the web, whether they're being viewed on a computer or a tablet or a phone. And that's not the case. What designers are designing are applications. They're designing um, utilities that their clients will use um, very much like they use um, Twitter and very much like they use Facebook and very much like they use Pinterest. Websites right now are just another social node. Um, and clients expect to be able to add content and shuffle content and change um, significant components of the site all by themselves. It's now the designer's job to create an application that can then be used by the client in a dynamic fashion that is responsive so that it does work regardless of the size of the device that the site is being viewed on, but one that's alive, one that is tied to the back end, to, that is, I would suggest, tied to the WordPress dashboard. Um, and uh, until Front is able to uh, tie its front end tool to WordPress's back end or some other back end, um, I'm afraid it's only a half a step toward uh, the solution. This is Ron Lattiser from Post Marketing, and this has been my review of Front.